Yo dudes, what's up? This is Planet Keith, I'm Keith, and today is episode 25 of the weekly vlog thing. We'll start the week on Sunday because things started to happen that later in the week would develop into full-blown crises on several fronts. The first thing that happened, we were finding out about uh, the beginnings of a shortage of carbon dioxide. And you might think, well, so what? What's that used for? Uh, and it turns out quite a lot of surprising things. Obviously, carbonated drinks, so your Coke, your lemonade, uh, some beers. But also, apparently, it's used to stun animals in abattoirs. It's used to uh, chill things. And it has a lot of medical applications. And it's everywhere. And unbelievably, it's uh, the cause. Well, it's not cost effective to run a factory just to make carbon dioxide, but it, it happens as a byproduct of a few different industrial processes. One of them is the manufacture of fertilizer. Two fertilizer plants in the UK were closed because the price of ammonia has gone up dramatically, meaning that uh, the CO2 is just not there, not happening. The other brewing crisis is to do with the supply of natural gas, which we use for heating and for cooking and a lot of other things as well. Since the B word, we are out of the European gas market. So we're totally exposed to the global wholesale gas price, which has been rising and rising and rising. Monday was a bit cheerier. Uh, over the last week, I've had three different people have commented on my egg fried rice video on Keith Cooks, mentioning Uncle Roger, as in Uncle Roger wouldn't approve of this, Uncle Roger would tear you apart. And I got no idea who this Uncle Roger is until uh, one of these commenters explained. He has a huge YouTube channel, he's got over 4 million subscribers. And um, mainly what he seems to do is criticise other people's videos of them making egg fried rice. And somebody had suggested that I should try and uh, collaborate with him because, you know, if, if, if you do get reviewed on his channel, you're, you're going to generate a lot of interest and a lot more subscribers and stuff. But my egg fried rice video is like five or six years old. But I know there are faults with it. Um, but also at the same time, I don't know if I want to remake it. Maybe I should. Anyway, Uncle Roger, hiya! Tuesday, more good news. The return of the Great British Bake Off. I'm trying not to keep on telling you what, what I'm watching on telly because, you know, you either, you, well, you're also watching it or you can't. So that would make you feel like you're missing out. PM Bozo was in America and he made a speech about climate change to the United Nations. Now, uh, Boris Johnson has always been a denialist over man-made cli climate change. Yeah, so he made this speech that it was ridiculous. Uh, he's, he started off referencing Kermit the Frog from the Muppets, who sang a song called It's Not Easy Being Green. And then Boris, the Churchillian orator, said, actually it is uh, easy being green, you've just got to do these things. And it's time we all grew up and faced the problem and sorted it out. Uh, yeah, well, of course it is. It has been for about 20 years. Also during the last week, the US, Australia and junior partner, the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, absolutely stuffed France. Australia had done a, a massive deal to buy submarines from France for, you know, billion, well, like 50 billion quid, something like that. Um, but, but then the Americans, uh, with the Brits in tow, had done this alternate deal without telling the French uh, for America to supply nuclear subs to Australia. Uh, so first of all, that's very dodgy um, because up till now, Australia is not a nuclear enabled country, but it just leaked out into the press and the French didn't know anything about it. So the French President Macron is furious, absolutely furious, brought his ambassadors back. Uh, you know, it's like, <laughs> and so Bozo Johnson 
used a bit of franglais. He said uh, the French should prenez un grip and donnez-moi un break. Uh, and if there's one thing you do not do to senior French people who are very proud and touchy about their language, uh, you don't mess with it. You really don't mess with it. So this is like, you know, paf, paf. Um, and then, uh, what are you trying to do, Johnson, you moron? Thursday, all right, I know I just said, I'm not gonna go on about TV programs, but there's a new series of Taskmaster. <laughs> Unfortunately, it clashes with the new series of All Creatures Great and Small. So we had to wait till the next day to watch Taskmaster, and it was insanely brilliant. Um, you've, you've got to watch this stuff, it is, it's just mad. Friday, to end the week, we had another crisis broke. Um, news was, well, leaked out that um, the big petrol suppliers, not the supermarket chains, um, BP, Shell, Esso, suffering from a shortage of delivery drivers. And so this is like how you start a run on a bank. Um, the, it had, the shortage of drivers had affected deliveries to a few petrol stations. But of course, people are like, oh my God, oh my God, jump in the car, go and fill up and fill up a load of petrol cans as well, if you've got them. So that immediately causes localised shortages. Um, because the, even though there's, there's plenty of petrol at the refineries and wherever they're stored, it can't be delivered to the places where it needs to be, to be sold. Saturday, I thought, I'll get up early. Nobody else will have thought of this. I'll get up early and go and get some petrol. And uh, so, so I got to the petrol station early and they were already queuing up the driveway and the forecourt and onto the main road and it was not safe. I didn't think it was safe to join that queue. Also, I didn't want to be there for an hour because I'd actually run out without having a cup of tea. I can get very unpleasant if I've not had my morning tea. Actually, I just don't function very well. The petrol in my tank has just ticked over to red, and that means I've got enough for 50 miles. And, you know, that, that actually, in reality, that could last two weeks. So I'm not, I'm not panicking. I'll, I'll just sit back, uh, let all the idiots stock up, and then let the deliveries get back on track. So by the end of this week, next week, it uh, should be more or less back to normal, I think. Anyway, so that was my happy, exciting week. I hope you enjoyed <laughs> me wittering on about it. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't manage to get out for a big long walk. Um, oh, because I did a live stream on Sunday uh, instead, Sunday afternoon. So yeah, there wasn't time. Anyway, that was my week. Come back next week for another one. Thank you.